Hey guys, it's Xanadu. I'm showing you all the useful jump spots on customs. Let's get into it. So we're starting off over at the storage units. You could obviously jump up on top of these. There's multiple ways to get up here, but this is just the one way I got up here. If we go on this back part, you could actually see the offices in Big Red. So people sit up here sometimes. You could try and get your shooter board and heaven kills. This is crossroads extract. You could sit on here prone. You could try and get your M1A quest down here with your thermal scope. Kind of camp the extract or just get another shooter board and heaven kill. I'm in front of Big Red now. I'm in train yard. You can jump on this forklift and jump on top of this green train car. This will give you a good coverage and visuals over river, over near RUAF roadblock. You could kill a sniper scav. There's a lot of visuals you can see up here. So this isn't a spot that I use too often, but I want you to be familiar with it. You could jump on top of the shack, and sometimes you'll be getting sniped when you're running across river and you have no idea where you're getting shot from. There's a good chance they're sitting up here. You have good coverage of people running across river, RUAF roadblock, people crossing junk bridge. You can see smuggler's boat. You can even see the top of construction. There's so many more angles, so this is a pretty good spot to sit in or just be cautious of. So that is a shack that I just showed you guys. If you come over to this little garbage pile, you could jump up onto this little canopy and jump on the roof. I like this spot mainly for night raids. As you see, you can have a good sight of garage. People will be going there trying to kill cultists, camping in there. You might be able to get a shot off on them. You can see quite a bit behind you as well across the river, but that's not really what I use it for. You can also jump across onto the other building, and this is where I actually check for cultists. Sometimes the render will be a little buggy, but that's okay. If cultists are there, you could fight them here. If you see someone in the garage, you could try and fight them. It's a pretty good spot for night raid. You could use it daytime as well, but it's up to you how do you want to use this. So this is literally right below where we were just at. You can jump on this little green box onto the dumpster. You can actually jump inside of this tree. So this isn't a spot that I use too often, but it's kind of a meme spot. It's kind of funny. And believe it or not, people won't expect you to be sitting in this tree, of course. You can really catch people off guard. You can see people coming from RUAF roadblock. You can see people coming from construction. Use this however you want. I just think it's a funny spot. So if you're on a night raid and someone's sitting in garage, you obviously don't want to hold this with a left hand peek. You could run around the corner and jump on these little crates in between these boxes. You can then jump on top of this building. You could fight people either in garage, on top of construction, or simply just on the other side of this. They really won't expect you to get up here as quick as you do. You could also get up there from these boxes. You just jump on top of the cardboard boxes and you can jump across onto the roof. And alternatively, you can jump on these stairs, jump on this railing, and you can get on top of the main roof. But doing this will trigger a metal sound so people know you're probably getting up here. And you obviously don't have as much cover if you're just sitting from down below. So use this how you want. This is kind of a rat spot. I'll use this sometimes. I'll jump onto this little balcony and then I'll voice line. And on night raids, people will come out here and they'll look left and right. And literally you just get a free kill. Free pair of night vision and it's kind of ratty, but it's funny. You could also do this on the other side as well. Literally just voice line or if you have a friend, you could have them open the door, go hide behind somewhere. Then they'll run out, they'll clear left and right. And then you just shoot them in the face. Over at construction now, you run up this little concrete ramp onto this dumpster. You can jump across to this blue cargo crate. Inside here, you got a little weapon crate. I do my M1A quest here with the thermal. Most people probably don't expect you to be sitting in here. Obviously, shoot out the windows if you're using the thermal scope. And you can jump across this little triangle part, and then you can jump on top of these tankers. And you can actually jump onto every single one of these tankers, but I don't know why you would. Up here, you pretty much see everything, but you're kind of exposed at the same time, so use this at your own risk. Alternatively, you could jump onto these wooden crates, side jump up. You could jump across, and then you could run across onto the tanker this way, whichever is easier for you. Does anyone know where I am? Maybe you guessed right. I'm at this little link from the main road to Skeleton. You can actually get up here. You don't really see people come up here. It's kind of a pain. But to get up there, all you do is jump onto this little wooden thing. And then you can jump on top of the fence. And then you just run across the barbed wire. Hopefully you have heals. Maybe a propotol popped. Maybe there's a kill quest you're trying to do and you don't want to die. You can come in here. Catch people off guard. There's a couple of dormer spots that I use that I'll show you guys. So depending on where I spawn is how I'll use these. If I spawn near Smuggler's Boat and I run towards third story dorm from the back, I jump in this third window. This glass is actually fake. You can jump right through it. You open up this door and you're right next to the stairs. You go up to your floors, hit what you need to hit. If I spawn on the other side of the map, then I'll come through the back side of dorms and I'll jump through this back window. From here, you could loot the couches and then you have a right hand peek down the hallway and then you run up to second floor. And the second door, it's got like a fake window, like the first window we jumped through. And you can actually check the stairs going up to third story. So if you hear metal, you could jump out this window and get a free kill. Running over to two-story dorms, there's two armored doors that I usually hit. They have safes in them. After that, I want to go to the other side, but there's a fence. I go into the bathroom and I jump out this window because there's no point to run out the front door and then run around. So I jump out the back door and then the second window in from the back side, I jump through here. 
And now I'm on that side of the hall already. So these two doors I hit, and then when I leave, I jump out the window again. So a nice shortcut to get over to the power building from the other side is jump onto this little fence. Well, looks like I failed, but typically you'd walk across the fence and you land on the porta potties, but that's okay. Obviously, you can jump on the porta potties, get to the other side. And then this little car right here next to the shortcut building, you can jump on top of this car, jump over this wall. This little forklift here, you can jump on the back side of this, jump on top, and you can jump over the other side of the building. And there's going to be a green truck here. You actually jump on top of this, jump across to the other side instead of having to go through. You can jump on those barrels and jump over. What do I like to do? I like to go on top of these tires and then I side jump. It's another way to get over. And then this blue dumpster here. Jump on this, jump on over. So multiple ways to get over other than just using the porta potties as most people would think. And then from these tires, you can jump on here and jump across. It wouldn't let me jump for some reason, but you can jump across. Now inside gas station, you can jump on this box and you can kind of peek outside this little window here. A couple different angles you could shoot from depending on where you're standing. Then you can jump on these little garbage bags and jump onto this rack. And in this corner, you can find Rashala sometimes, so it's just a way to get a free kill on them. So this is a spot where if I hear people shooting over at gas station, I'll jump on this little crate real fast. Get a nice little view over at gas station up on top of the rocks. If you want some more cover, you go around the corner where the crate is to your back. I'm sure everyone knows this jump spot. It's pretty nice to get from one side to the other. Also, you can jump on this pipe and you can get inside of this tree. If you guys didn't know that. It's actually better to have lower strength because higher strength you end up just over jumping it or if you're overweight it helps too but you can jump inside this tree and then jump over the wall it's a nice way instead of having to go all the way around old gas station also if you're not good at the tree jump you could jump on this little fence right here get to the other side and then to get back to old gas station you could really just jump over the side of the fence again pretty easy so you can jump on this side of the fence with that ramp but there's no way to jump on the other side it's actually not true this is ZB1012. If you run up the back side of this, you can actually jump over the side of the fence. This will save you a lot of time, so you don't have to run all the way around. You just literally just jump over the fence, simple enough. So this is USEC building. You actually need a key to get into these rooms. Just kidding. You just jump inside of them. This is usually USEC stash key. I believe that's what it's called. But you literally just jump inside these windows, just have to break them, and there's some loot in here. You could use these rooms for cover, too, if you want to fight someone outside of them. But that's been the video. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. If there's another map that you'd like to see, leave it down below in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.